Hey, listen, this is a special day for Carla and I today. Uh, we're at St. John's Mercy Hospital and her port she's had right here in her upper shoulder is being taken out today. Well, it's been delayed and so I won't do my normal four o'clock, but I've been getting this from the Lord. I want everybody to write it down and make it plain. How are we covering the holidays this year, Thanksgiving and Christmas? And I said, Lord, what, what is a special message that you have for us in terms of how we get through Thanksgiving and Christmas and into a brand new year, 2024? It just came to me very simply. I've been sitting here at the hospital and it's again, the surgery to take the port out has been delayed, but Psalm 27 verse one, is gonna carry us on eagle's wings the next six to seven weeks. If you want something prophetic, I said, Lord, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So one singular verse today that I'm bringing, because I, I feel like there's been um, disruptions in relationships, um, there's been uh, like a stall out on some of the dreams and visions and prophetic words that you've gotten. And the Lord kept telling me, tell my people, take heart, take up your heart again in my presence, which is super powerful. And then the scripture, this scripture, which I've known probably since the mid 70s, Psalm 27, verse one. I love verse four, why well, I love the whole Psalm. But he said, it's real simple. Count on my light to be there in any kind of darkness you encounter the next seven weeks into the new year, 2024. He said, study my salvation. Go back and renew your understanding of the power of my salvation as I created it, not only the Old Testament, but also in the New Testament. So we've got the Lord, the Lord himself is number one light, is number two, our salvation. It addresses fear two different times in one singular verse. I find that super powerful, man. It doesn't just, and the psalmist heart, you know, when David was saying, you know, I, I one thing have I desired of the Lord and that will I seek after. Well, he said to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. This is the same Psalm, Psalm 27, verse four. I'm giving you verse one today. But he said to gaze on your beauty and inquire in your temple. So verse one, always the first verse is setting the tone uh, for e even the legalities of his power and his authority, the legal right of his power and authority um, to be in everyday situations and bring a change. God, that is so good, I better say it again. So uh, verse one always declares his power and authority. It sets the tone for everything we'll face every day in a legal situation, mean, like from a legal perspective. And I go, God, I love you for that, Lord. That is so powerful. So let's go back, Psalm 27, verse one. This is to cover Thanksgiving. It comes up in a few days. This is to cover, you know, the holiday season of Christmas, the birth of our Messiah. Probably not the date it happened. We don't care. We're celebrating that he was born of a virgin among human beings. And all the angels were there and blown away that God took on a human form. <laughs> They'd only known Jesus. Think about this, you guys. You only know Jesus and all of his glory and they said, Jesus can't put off all of his glory and go to earth as a human being in a clay suit. That was for free today. <laughs> but let's go back. Verse one, three things. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He said, count on my life. De decree that my light will be there in everyday situations. This is covering the next seven weeks into the new year, so to speak. Uh, however you want to take that and decree and declare light is here light is on the scene the lord is my light number two salvation he said look it up and study my salvation 
the greatness, even the different layers of my salvation as I've released it. First of all, in the Old Testament, his salvation was known there in the miracles and the great things he did. But now through the Son of God, the Lamb of God who took away the sins of the world, very, very powerful. And then it goes, and so whom shall I fear? So the A section, I'm just doing one verse today. The A section says, of whom shall I fear? And we're going to answer it, no one. There's no one that could bring dread or fear on you. It, you knowing Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you know him alive from the dead, seated on his throne. My God, that's so powerful. And then we go to the B section. It says, the Lord is the strength of my life. Let's stop for a minute. It's declarative. He's my light. He's my salvation and he's the strength of my life. Count on these three things. He's saying, you're gonna see it actually empowered and activated. Believe me that in the next six, six, seven, eight weeks into the new year, you're gonna see these things at a higher level than you've ever seen them before. Light, salvation, and then the strength. Um, I, My wife and I, we talk about it. The last three years since COVID, we find a lot of people are weary they're worn out. Uh, you can forget about dreaming or having a vision. They're just trying to get through every day. Well, then I'm gonna say it to you. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will increase your strength on the inside of you. These three things are saying, God, something that simple. He said, yes, that simple. I'm their light. Let them know that again, body of Christ. I'm their, uh, their shield and salvation. The shield is a part of salvation. And then he is the strength of your life. Let's, let's stay on it for a second. The strength of my life, Lord, uh, when I, I had this years ago as a revelation from the Lord, um, it basically um, the Lord said, Kent, when you run out of your strength, you can run into mine. As a matter of fact, I, I'd prefer that you just stay in my strength and not in your own. <laughs> I said, that's really cool, Lord, I appreciate it. Because bo bottom line is that um, I don't have that much strength in the natural. But he said, when you run out of your strength and your ideas and your thoughts of what should happen, run into my zeal, saith the Lord. So light, salvation and strength. And then again, the B section, Psalm 27 verse one addresses, of whom shall I dread actually in the Hebrew, or whom shall I fear? And the answer is no one. So Father, we bring it to prayer right now. We're gonna decree, declare and proclaim, starting today after this stream, covering Thanksgiving, the holidays. Father God, in Jesus' name, we enter into the realm of your light. Oh my God. We enter into the release of your light at a super high level. Uh, realms of light we've not seen or beheld yet. Light, and then your salvation, Lord. This is like the treasure box. It's the treasury, your salvation. How could we ever, it'll take us a few ages and eternities. Father, we're praying revelation light is coming about salvation the realm of realms of your light lord and you're uh, covered in light and then salvation that you're giving us a brand new understanding of the depths and the layers of your salvation it's happening right now i decree and declare it and proclaim it over my friends and then you are the strength of my life we take it straight up lord at the highest level you of the strength. I release that now right through the airwaves into people's hearts and their minds and their souls that you are the strength. You're not the weakness of our life. We don't have to depend on our own strength, but you are the strength of our lives at a super high level. And then you double down on fear. The psalmist said, it's recorded in this psalm, whom shall I fear? Whom shall I dread? And we say, absolutely no one. So Father, you're sweeping in by the power of your Holy Spirit in revelation, leading us and guiding us into all the truth that the next seven to eight weeks are covered by these three elements, the light of the Lord and the light of heaven, 
the power and authority of your salvation, and then that you have come to strengthen our hearts and our lives, our souls, strengthen everything in our system, Father. In Yeshua's name, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh my God, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch my own video and go, yeah, that's right. Let's do it. Anyway, I love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. And certainly we're going to have a joy filled and a Merry Christmas because Jesus said so. I love you guys. I'll see you real soon. God bless. <laughs> Hallelujah.